Hi there, welcome to our Cancer Research Laboratory. I'm Ramazan Gündoğdu, I work as an assistant professor here at Dingen University of Turkey. And now we are in our Cancer Research Laboratory. I will give you a short talk about our research and what we're trying to do in here. As we know that cancer is the leading cause of death, accounting for nearly 10 million deaths in 2020. Many cancer researchers around the world are trying to understand the disease. They are trying to develop novel anti-cancer treatments for the sake of better cancer treatments. Humans are very complex organisms made up of trillions of cells, each cell with their unique structure and function. Most of these cells proliferate in a controlled way, but cancer can um, result from abnormal proliferation of any kind of cells in the body. So genes that are responsible for cell growth, cell proliferation, cell differentiation and death are specifically mutated in cancer cells, which at the end make them to proliferate without any control. Surgery, chemotherapy and radiation therapy are the most conventional options offered to cancer patients. The ultimate aim of the chemotherapy here is to eliminate all the remaining cancer cells from the body after local removal of tumor through surgery and radi radiotherapy. Although they provide initial success at the beginning, unfortunately they do not offer a long-term clinical success. And this is because they are not specifically and selectively targeting cancer cells, but also trying to kill healthy ones at the end cause serious side effects and drug resistance overall limiting the clinical success of the treatments. We all know that although they may have the same type of cancer, all patients uh, have different tumor types with unique genetic, epigenetic and proteomic profiles. This is what we call interpatient heterogeneity. There is also intratumor heterogeneity, which is another challenge that we need to deal with. And this is within a tumor, there might be subclinal diversity of tumor cells. Due to all these reasons, researchers are trying to define and characterize specific biomarkers that make cancer cells unique compared to healthy ones. Specific biomarkers that may differ from patient to patient, which in the end enable us to make patient certification and design uh, better personalized cancer treatments. You know that our DNA receives genotoxic insults from endogenous and exogenous environments. Luckily, we have complex genomic defense systems that protect our DNA. Unfortunately, in some cases, genes that may have roles in DNA protection may lose their function. That may cause genomic instability, which is one of the key hallmarks of cancer. Therefore, any kind of problems with the regulation of DNA protection may induce the neoplastic transformation. That is why defining the proteins involved in DNA damage and repair pathways will not only help us to understand the biology of the disease, but also help us to predict the conventional or novel anti-cancer treatment responses. In our laboratory, first, we are trying to understand the functions of proteins that may function in DNA damage response and DNA repair mechanisms. And secondly, we investigate the anti-cancer potential of natural products. We feel uh, lucky since we live in Bingville, located in the east part of Turkey, and so we have a lot of endemic plant species whose pharmaceutical potential is waiting to be discovered. We have cell culture facility within our lab. We use basic and advanced cell culture techniques with various types of human cancer cell lines, including breast, ovarian, lung, and colorectal cancer cells. We are able to perform in vitro cytotoxicity assays such as MTT cell viability assay, 2D colonist survival, and 3D soft agar tumor formation assays, and wood healing cell migration assays. We routinely perform transient and stable cell transfections by using RNA interference or recombinant DNA technologies to manipulate the expression of the protein of interest. In our molecular biology laboratory, we do DNA isolation for fragmentation assays, we do mRNA verification for qPCR analysis and total protein isolation for SDS page and Western blood analysis in order to understand the basic of molecular mechanisms of our biological observation. So, if you are interested in cancer research and cellular signal pathways, if you are interested in predictive biomarker developments and willing to do a master or PhD with these keywords, please get in contact with us.